Do you often find yourself waiting for the perfect conditions before you decide to go out and do some night photography? I am the exact same way myself. But I've realized something over the years. Just stop doing that. I've had a few nights when I just pushed myself to go out anyway, even though the conditions weren't perfect and I managed to capture some of my favorite time-lapse sequences. The first night was Aurora photography and the second night was Milky Way and Nightscape photography. Let's start with that first night. Sometimes you just have to push yourself to pack up your gear, and just go out, take some photos, even if the conditions aren't perfect. Tonight was one of those nights. I was trying to capture the aurora and be creative with the lighting, but there was a full moon, a bit of clouds and some wind. If I had stayed home that night, I would have missed the beautiful full moon lighting up the thin clouds and the chance to see bats catching insects above the lake. I also wanted to try some creative use of a lantern. I set up my second camera on a time lapse and had a snack while waiting for the aurora. Well, the moon has set now, so the sky is getting a bit darker. Um, there is also a lot less clouds. So I'm just gonna do a bit more of the Milky Way photography and keeping my fingers crossed that um, maybe the aurora will pick up as well. I'm not going to stay out very late tonight because I have work tomorrow, but um, but I'm just going to give the aurora a bit more time to see if it picks up. The aurora was kind of weak that night, but I still think the time lapses turned out great. Just look at the colors and those moving clouds.
Now to the second night. This time the night was very calm and cold, but there was some haze and clouds kept rolling in. I wanted to try out my new Samyang 35mm lens. A full review of that lens is coming later on. I focused on capturing the Milky Way and a few time lapses. I was also trying to capture Orion with the AstroTrack and my modified 550D, but the clouds stopped me from getting enough material for a stacked image. The photos turned out nice and the new lens seems to perform really well. As you can see, the mist above the lake was really beautiful and I even managed to capture a meteor. If I hadn't pushed myself to go out that night, I would have missed some of my favorite time-lapse sequences in a long time. Just look at those clouds moving in different directions with the still lake reflecting the stars. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.